Cons of Living in Japan 2019, winter version. Before we get too far into spring, I'm a little late. Today is the equinox, actually, and that's why I have the day off, and it's not a Monday. You know, I'm not totally sure why the equinox is so important that we actually get a day off from work, but you know what? I'm all for it. Anyway, I want to talk in today's video about winter in Japan. Now, in what ways is it different than in other places? I mean, the, like, tolerating winter, the surviving through winter. Now, I have to warn you, when it comes to winter, I'm a whiner. So keep that in mind. I live in northern Japan and it has real winter. It was rough for a couple of months, but that's about it. By the end of February, things were already warming up. I think we're probably about done. Here anyway. It's probably still real winter in other places and it's probably solidly spring in others. Nice. Winter in Nagoya, when I lived there, was a bit different than here. We had a couple of times when the snow fell and it melted away quickly. And when I lived there, I always said, if you have to have winter, this is the place to be. That was Nagoya. Some people enjoy winter. They love winter sports. The kids in the school, when we asked, do you like winter? Most said, yes, I do. I like winter. Not me. So I'm gonna whine a little bit, but just remember, I'm a bit of a drama queen. You may or may not have noticed, but anyway, that helps with teaching. Anyway, let's get to it. Real winter. I don't like winter. I was told over and over again by everyone, no matter where it was, what they were from and what they were doing, or whatever, everybody told me that our town is in a warm part of Akita Prefecture. It's warm in the winter here and it hardly snows at all. Well, let me just tell you that just because it's not Siberia doesn't mean that it's not cold in Moscow. It's cold in Moscow and there's plenty of snow in Moscow. And the same is true for here. It's cold in the winter. It's cold and the wind is horrendous. There's like hundreds, I don't know how many, like those wind turbines, you know, for producing electricity. Why would they put them here? Well, because the wind is horrendous here. That's why. So you're in the middle of winter and you got the wind blowing. It's fierce wind. There was one time when I almost was blown over by the wind in the middle of winter. Yeah, I was getting into my car and then a wind gust, you know, you're really supposed to hold the door because it's so windy here. But you know, when you're like putting stuff in the car, you know, the way my job is, you put my back, back, my back, my basket, you should have better idea with basket, my hands are tied, and so I'm not hanging on to the door, the door bashes into me because of the wind, and then I'm like, I step on my boot just right, and it causes me to like, kind of, you know, I almost fell over into this, like, it would have been a disaster, because it was not like just falling onto the ground, it's like, it's a step off, I almost fell down, oh man, yeah, I don't like and one day there's like, you know, it's one morning when there's a ton of snow, ton of snow. And there's this older couple that walks by and they're like, I haven't seen this much snowfall in 30 years. Yeah. Just because it's not as bad as Siberia doesn't mean that it's not bad. For me, it was bad. All right now, the last couple of weeks has actually been better. They're saying that it's, you know, it's been above freezing. So they're saying that it's looking like it's gonna be an early spring and I am so grateful. Another disadvantage, the mikang, the mikang fruit. They're delicious. That's a problem. I easily eat for a day or more. It's a problem. My skin, I don't know if you can really see it, but my skin turns orange. I don't think I really like orange skin. I wonder what... That makes me a fall. Does that make me a fall? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Anyway, I'll go back being winter. When I'm white, pink, white. What's white and pink? That's what I normally am, white and pink. But. So what do you consider to be the positives about winter? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear some reminders of the good things about winter. Like, you know, despite turning me orange, for example, Mikan oranges are definitely amazing in the winter. What do you think about winter? Kerosene heaters in the winter. Kerosene heaters. You know what that means? I have to get kerosene every couple of weeks. <laughs> what kind of pain is that? When I lived in the Nagoya area, I could just plug into the natural gas. I still had to use a tube and, and, and plug it into my heater, my natural gas heater, but it was way more convenient. 
Not here. I have to have a, a kerosene heater. Now, some people have, they, I mean, I think it's pretty normal to have kerosene heaters, but I think that many places have like, they have like a tank outside and their heaters are connected to that tank somehow. It goes into the house. So they have advantages with that. They still have to like get somebody to come and fill the tank every once in a while. But one of the advantages is the stink. They don't have the stink because all the processing with turning on the kerosene and turning off the kerosene is done outside. In my case, I just have this little kerosene stove right here and every time I turn it on every time I turn it off it stinks like dude I lived in Japan before I lived here I lived in Japan yeah I lived in China before I lived here and in China as you've probably seen it's pollution 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 and I thought okay I'm going to Japan where the air is clean but not during the winter with kerosene heater. Yeah, the little warning sign on top of that stove, it says make sure you exchange the air every one or two hours. Exchange the air, what exactly does that mean? You mean you want me to open the wind, the window in the middle of winter every couple of hours, every hour or two? Sorry, not happening. I opened the window once, the whole winter, when it turned to like 50 degrees or something outside or 10 degrees Celsius outside, I did one time, but... <sighs> I'm in the pollution again. I mean, the smell kind of goes away after a while, but then like uh, where I have to, to store my jugs, where can I put my jugs? I have to put them inside somewhere. I put them in my entranceway in a big container, trying to not have it stink. But when I walk in the door, I'm like, yep, I have kerosene in here. It stinks. Yeah, I thought I got rid of the pollution when I left China, but no, it's still here. And the way it works is like, I have a small kerosene heater, so it's just the tank in it is five liters. So I take my five liter tank out and I take it over to the door where my where my jugs are. My two ten I have two ten liter jugs just because I live on the second floor and I ain't that strong. I ain't got the muscles. I've got small muscles. And uh so I have my two little ten kerosene jugs inside my container out there by the door. And so I have to take my five liter tank from the uh from the kerosene heater and take it over there and I have like a little tray I put it on the little tray and I take the top off and I have like this thing that connects between the um the 10 liter jug and the little five liter tank and it's this little tube that goes in and then it goes into the 10 liter you switch it on and it sucks the kerosene out into the into the into your tank hopefully you're, you, you got it sticking in your tank a little ding 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 it makes some kind of noise so that you know oh it's full it's done it's, did it it did it Steed, turn it off and then you gotta kind of like jiggle it so that you get the kerosene out of the tube and then you have to like somehow or another do this without spilling any of the dripping any of the remains anywhere and you take and you put your little wand I guess you could call it away either just leave it right in the jug if there's enough space to be able to close wherever you put it or if you don't actually put it in anything I put it in my container so I actually have to like figure out a way to finagle my wand so that it fits in there and then of course that leaves like drippings all over the bottom of my container which you know I'm gonna have to definitely clean that thing out in the springtime or maybe I should be cleaning it out more often than that even but and how am I gonna clean that out I think I'm just gonna put it in my ohuro and spray it down praying every time that I don't make any stupid moves to knock that thing over and make a mess take the five liter thing put it in my kerosene heater and turn my heater on again and yeah kerosene it's messy and it's stinky I don't like it but it keeps me warm so that's like all right I confess first world problems right first world problems yes winter is a pain no doubt and if God allows my next locale which is not gonna be anytime soon but it will be a place of eternal spring okay I'm not totally sure where that is, but I can dream. <laughs>